Hi, I'm Lily. Today I'm going to read the story called The Magic Drawing. Okay, I'm going to read you the story. The Magic Drawing. Okay, today is Friday. Happy Friday. Okay, let's read it. The Magic Drawing. Dan loved story. One evening he used his new crayons to draw a lovely picture. He drew a village with houses, people, a forest, a castle, and a horrible, scary dragon spitting flames. Then, just before Dan turned off his light, he added a little elf. In the middle of the night, Dan woke with a sword. The elf from his drawing was shaking him and shouting, Dan, open your eyes, quick! The horrible, scary dragon is spitting flames everywhere. You have to help us chase him away. Get up! Get up! Oh, mm, but I don't know how to fight dragons, said Dan. Come on, follow me, said the elf. A moment later, the elf was back in Dan's drawing. He, Dan hesitated Dan grabbed his box of crayons and his sketchbook. Okay, here I go, in a worried voice, Dan followed the elf. Dan found himself in the village with the ore of the people, with ore of the people, when they saw him, they all started talking at once. We need new air weapons and, and helmets and swords. They give us the things that we need to fight the dragon. But I don't have any any of those things. Then a little girl with red hair said, You drew us then, so you have to help us. Ah, uh, Dan didn't know what to do. Then he said, I think I got an idea. He began drawing bows and arrows, axes, swords, helmets, and lots of other weapons, which the elf hands to the villagers. In the distance, they could hear the horrible, scary dragon coming closer. It was burning everything in its path. The forest was in flames. Soon, the roofs of the houses would catch fire. The little girl with red hair red hair, said, Dan, we need water to put out the flames. Dan drew the buckets of barrels full of the brim with water, but the fire was spreading and there were flames everywhere. The elf was worried and shouted, It's not working, Dan. How do you get out the fires in your world? I know, I know, said Dan, said the little boy. He drew a big red fire engine with a tall ladder and a long hoss. Nice one, Dan, cried the elf. The boy scampered the letter after the wolf, after the elf. The little girl followed them. Together, they held on the hose and sprayed a big jet of water on the flames. Oh dear, I feel dizzy, said Dan. Soon, the flames were out. Uh-oh, the horrible, scary monster had reached the village. It was about to destroy everything. Dan and the elf and the other and all the other villagers ran as fast as they could. Why did you put a dragon in your drawing? I'm really sorry, stammered Dad. I didn't mean to be so fierce. Now that's now that it's here. I don't know how to make it go away. I know. All you have to do is uh, rub it up. So, Dan rubbed the dragon with his rubber. He rubbed and rubbed, but his rubber was too small. I've got an idea. He filled a tank of fire engine with white paint. And, brilliant, said the elf. Brilliant, said the elf, pulling the long horse so that he could spray on the horrible, scary monster. At last, at last, the dragon was gone. The villager shouted, Hip, hip, hooray for Dan and the elf. They carried the two friends on their shoulders. There was a big party and everyone sang and cheered. When Dan get back, got back to his room, he was worried. Now there is a big white plot splotch on my new drawing. Just draw something else in its place, the elf suggested. Uh, Dan looked at his drawings of the village. The people, the people, the forest, and the castle. He decided to draw a princess where the dragon had been. He, she had a rat hair that looked a bit like flames in front of just by. But where is a friend, the little elf? Can you see him? He, oh, where is it? 
Okay, the end. So today I will just record the magic drawing. Oh, it's like this. This series books are very interesting, you know. Okay, there are so many books that I want to read. Is one of it's the magic rubber? Oh. Wait a second. Okay, okay. So today I will just record this, the magic drawing. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching and have a good weekend. Bye.